All right, hello everyone, this is My Two Cents, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, for a while now, I've said I'm going to be streaming Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl when they finally got out, and I'm just now getting around to it. Admittedly, I have been having some technical difficulties setting this up, so I'm not so sure how well it's going to work, but hey, let's give it a try. Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Yeah, this speech has been the same since the original games. See the Disliker and Scorch Volunteer have already joined the stream. Hello to both of y'all. Choose your photo from the lineup. Alright, so we've got the uh White, blue-eyed, dark-haired, dark-skinned, brown-eyed, dark-haired, blonde, blue-eyed, and it's somewhere in between. We're just going to go with the classic. Scorch says the volume just dropped. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think my the stream is quite as solid as I'd like it to be. I know his name's Barry, but I'm just gonna go with Damien because I think that's cooler. Your very own tale of a grand adventure is about to unfold. The exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection, the rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly to the Crestwine team. And that's right, this game's got the weird animation, which a lot of people have criticized it for. I mean, I, I don't like it that much, but hey, it's something new, so why not? but he said it was an emergency. Don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. That's right. That's what this whole game is about, Mom. Gotta catch them all. Let's go around town and see what everybody's got to say. Now you can play over with people around the world wirelessly. 
which way back in Gen 4 you couldn't quite do yet. They were getting close. Hiya, my two cents. Damien was looking for you. I think he's home now. Why don't you go check it out? Go to Barry slash Damien's house. Oh, hey, my two cents, I'm going to the lake. You should come too. Let me think about it. I'm finding you a million Poke dollars if you're late. Oh, geez, forgot something. take my bag and guidebook too. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million fine if you're late. Gee, even Damien is subjecting me to inflation. You saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake? That show got me thinking. I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it, too. So that's what we're gonna do. Go find a Pokemon like that. You know, so far this is playing exactly like Pokemon Diamond and Pearl version, just with the weird new Switch animation. What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine. It's enough, we have seen the lake. After four years, after being away for four years, it must be exciting again. Hmm, there's one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Excuse me, let us pass, please. I beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. Of course, Don, you'll be on your way. Oh, my two cents, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass. No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. The Pokemon are restricted to the good wild blue grass. They cannot leave it. They cannot attack you if you're outside of the tall grass. And oh no, we're getting attacked by Starlies. Alright, time for the key moments in every Pokemon game. We're going to pick our starter. We want Turtwig. Do we want Chimchar? Or do we want Piplup? Oh boy, I gotta admit, this is a tough choice for me, because it's been a while since I played the original Gen 4 games. I've played it with both Turtwig and Chimchar before. I think there is no doubt Chimchar is the superior choice as far as quality Pokemon. I do like Turtwig, though. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Chimchar, just because I love Infernape so much. You encountered a wild Starly. Yo, Chimchar! battles, but the animation goes back to being like it was in Sword and Shield, but in battles. Come on, Chimchar, you scratch again. Okay. 
Dark Hours 3 he is, joins us in the comment section. I haven't played a Pokemon game like this since Red, Blue, and Yellow. I am proud to say I've played every Pokemon game since Red, Blue, and Yellow. And, and now with Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, I am playing the most recent. I hope people won't mind that we use their Pokemon. Of course not, they're just going to give them to us. The press would have been curious if I'd lost it. Huh? Oh no! Did you use the Pokemon that were in there? You did? Oh my gosh, what's the professor going to say? This is so not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Mikey. So let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. Go ahead. I know we have to go return these Pokemon. They're not ours, but I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. Hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? I heard from Don that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Chimchar and Piplup. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Don, I'm going back to my lab. Yep, these guy kids just took my Pokemon, and I'm going to let them have it. Oh, Professor, wait for me. What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? My two cents, we should go home too. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad both you and Damien are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of San Gem Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. My two cents, I think you need to visit him in San Gem Town. I'm sure he will understand. Oh, of course he will. Oh, great, she gave us the running shoes so that we can now go running. Move a little bit faster. And we can now run that so fast. Sand Gem Town we go. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. What the? Oh, it's you, my two cents. That old guy, he's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Aw, uh, it doesn't matter, my two cents. I'm out of here. See you later. Wow, well, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Finally, you come. My two cents, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then, I'll give you that Chimchar as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Eh, not in particular. I've never really been one to nickname my Pokemon. I do sometimes, but... I'm so glad that you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. Ahem, let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Good answer. You obtained the Pokedex. What am I going to say? No? Otherwise you won't give me the Pokedex and I can't play the game, darn it. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. 
I've got one too. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now you should know there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you outside there. Now go. My two cents. Your grand adventure begins right now. And of course Don's got Turtwig. Okay, my two cents, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Follow me. This building is the Pokemon Center. Well, no duh. And this building is the Pokemon Mart. Despite the fact that in all new generations, the Pokemart and the Pokemon Center are the same building, they've gone back to having them separately just so that it mirrors Gen 4. JC Armitage, hello! See if we can get ourselves some Pokeballs. Five to start off. Why isn't our character wearing that little red beret we used to have from Gen 4? Maybe we get it later. Or we have to buy it at a clothing store or one of those things. And it is the classic Pokemon of the Sinnoh region, Bidoof. I never cared for Bidoof until the Dorkly channel came out with Peanut Butter, the perfect Bidoof. For those of you who watch my Pokemon streams, you know I referenced the Dorkly channel and uh, Pokemon Rusty quite a bit. Stop at home. Hey, Mom, I'm an 11 year old kid and I'm leaving home to go on a grand adventure. Why, of course, Sonny. Welcome home, my two cents. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? It's still early in the morning. Take a quick rest. <laughs> Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Oh, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, my two cents. I'll be right. I'll, I'll be all right by myself, dear, so you go and enjoy your adventure. When you are exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy, too. But please come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear.
Excuse me, is my little Damien here? Oh no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, and then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Oh, really? You do that for me? My two cents. Please take this to Damien for me. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my Damien. We're forgetting something important. Ah, oh, there's our little beret. Yes, that hat always did suit you well, my two cents. Now off you go. Another Bidoof. Where are the Starly? I guess we could catch a Bidoof just for the heck of it. You know what? Sure, let's catch a Bidoof just for the heck of it. I don't really intend to use it, but we'll catch a, we'll catch a Starly. I do intend to use Starly because I use uh, Star Raptor, and it was one of my best Pokemon in the original Gen 4. But we'll catch a Bidoof just for nostalgia. So. Chimchar learns Ember. It constantly gnaws on logs and rocks to whittle down its front teeth. It nests alongside water. Bidoof, the plump mouse Pokemon. One but I still want to find a Starly. And here we go, a Starly. Experience, see if we can find a level 3 Starly. Alex Denton asks, Am I the only one here right now? Uh, according to concurrent viewers, you probably are. We've had a few people drop in and out. I know I haven't been streaming for a while and I didn't announce this one, so I'm not surprised if the viewership's a little thin. But that's alright. JC Armitage is also still here.
Alright, I give up. We're just gonna catch this Starly. I really gotta invest in a better mic. I had a really nice Yeti mic for a while that no longer works, and this headset just is not doing it. Starly's data is added to the Pokedex. Usually with a large flock, it is barely noticeable when alone. It cry its cries are very strident. The Starling Pokemon. I gotta say, ever since Pidgey, all the initial bird Pokemon in most Pokemon games are pretty awful, but Star Raptor is one of the best. Corviknight from Generation 8 was really great too, but I like Star I'd say Star Raptor and Corviknight I actually like. JC Armitage says, not sure what I think about the chibi art style, but it's at least nice that they use a more regular looking one in the battles. I agree. I, I, didn't, I don't know why they decided to go with the art style, but at least it does look the same. At least the battle in the battles, it's the same as Sword and Shield. Looks like I see Scorch Volunteer is still here as well. Oh, that's right. My two cents. I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? I mean, thank you, Don. I've already caught a Bidoof and a Sarly, but you can show me how to do it anyways. Congratulations, Don, you just caught a Bidoof. See, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. A healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using a Pokemon's move. Okay, my two cents. To get you started, I'll give you some Pokeballs. Oh, why, thank you. I already bought five of my own, but thank you. Put our Starly out front and level it up a little bit. Before we get our first Pokemon battle, we want our Pokemon above level 2. I mean, we've got our starter, but I don't want to be one of those guys who just has the level 100 starter and then Pokemon never levels up any other Pokemon. Admittedly, yes, I did that back when I was, second, was in second grade and there was just nothing but red and blue. But I'm more strategic now.
Starly Girls level 3. Scorch Volunteer says some of the Pokemon look good, but others look like they are from Pokemon Stadium. Ponytail looks ugly, while Bunny Airy looks like it's an actual bunny. Yeah, I guess tis the case with the art these days. Oh, I guess we got, you know, I didn't even realize it until just now, but we have experience share already. I guess that'll make it pretty easy to level up Pokemon. In that case, let's just put our Chimchar up front. Once our Badoof and our Starly are both at level 5, we'll go challenge our first battle. Yeah, Scorch Voluntar says the game is easy, and yeah, if, if, if you start out with experience share, then yeah, it's probably uh, pretty easy. Hey, Night Shift 10,000, what's up? He also asked, got any plans for Thanksgiving? Uh, well, seeing as I just started playing this game, hopefully I'll be playing it a little bit more tomorrow, but I will be, of course, sharing a wonderful meal with my family. I hope everyone else is doing the same. Night Shift says it's been too long. What have you been doing? Uh, well, between my job and... Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Let's just say my job... I, I've been working... I've been putting in some very long hours at my real job. How about yourself? How's married life, Night Shift? Night Shift says married life is great. Tinsel and I are so happy. Happy for you. Happy for the both of you, man. Happy for the both of you. And we caught a Shinx. You know, it's funny, but this so far this is playing out exactly like my first playthrough of Pokemon Pearl version. Now again with the Shining Pearl version. Shinx, the Flash Pokemon. Its four legs have a muscle-based system of generating electricity. Its body shines when it is in danger. You know, I've never had much love for Shinx. I, I did use Luxray in my original playthrough because it is so easy to acquire, but I don't think I'm going to this time. It's just too mediocre of an electric Pokemon. Night Shift 10,000 says, I actually wish I could go lit 
uh, I could go live. Started a new playthrough of iOS Final Fantasy 1, and I made you one of the characters. Oh, that's awesome, man. I appreciate it. And with that, let's go challenge our first battle. You encounter a wild Cricketot. JC Armitage asks Night Shift, what class did you make two cents? Waiting for him to answer. You're a Pokemon trainer? I happen to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes met, so battle we must. And as we reach battle mode, the animation changes from the chibi art style. Youngster Tristan sent out. Starly. Go, Chimchar. You know, I gotta imagine. I, I gotta say, I'm really glad that with Sword and Shield they did not use the Chibi art style. Sonya, can you imagine Sonya if she'd been Chibi rather than what she was? <laughs> Cowboy69, hello to you. Chimchar reaches level 8. Badoof learns Defense Curl. And Starly learns Quick Attack. Palu TD, hello. Night Shift says, My two cents is basically the fist of the North Star. When he punches and kicks enemies, their heads basically explode. Indeed, they do. I spy with my little eye a trainer. Battle, please. Battle, we shall. Alas, Natalie sends out the doof. Cowboy69 says, any advice on how to be taken seriously without getting dismissed for being a lolbert? My answer, if they call you a lolbert, they're not going to take you seriously anyways. Don't waste your time. Ha, there goes your Badoof. Shinx grows level four and learns Thundershot. You know what? We'll switch Pokemon. Let's see how our Starly holds up in battle. Night Shift adds that Tinseltown Queen and ATAC Alpha are also in his playthrough. <laughs> she actually looks sad. 
The facial expressions are okay. And looks like we've got another youngster to fight. You are challenged by youngster Logan. Who sends out a Shinx. <laughs> My two cents says she looks sad because uh, you turned her down when we asked her on a date, my two cents. Why, thank you, Night Shift. and can't move, eh? All right. Finish this off, Badoof. Like, wow. All right, heading back to the Pokemon Center here for a second. C. Naruto says, My two cents, please debunk the Gravel Institutes on the poverty video they did. You know, I always I could do another Gravel Institute, Gra Gravel Institute video, although the three I've already done. Man, I'm not sure I can stomach to watch them anymore. See, Naruto, can you send a link to the exact video you want debunked? Naruto also says we need your knowledge to destroy them. <laughs> you know, you know. In all honesty, whatever is in that video, I've probably already debunked it at some point in the history of my channel. I would just be rehashing, but. Just like that, we're in Jubilife City. 
Hey, my two cents, are you catching Pokemon? Wow, you've already got four Pokemon with you. At that pace, your pe Pokedex should be full in no time at all. In Jubilife City, there's a trainer school, which, well, you know. My two cents, you should visit it. You'll get some tips on Pokemon. Oh yes, Damien went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, bye now. I'm trading Pokemon with my buddy. Good for you, man. Hey, my two cents, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's a trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? We deliver the parcel. Score, it's a town map. Why are there two in here? I learned a lot, but I don't need to. You take one. Why, right, thank you, Damien. Yep, Orobo City is next, where the Rock Pokemon Gym Leader is. But first, we gotta catch some more Pokemon. JC Armitage says, I can't remember, but could you name the rival in Gen, Gen 4? Uh, I honestly don't remember. I know the official name is Barry, and I'm pretty sure... I, I think you could name the rival in Gen 4. Uh, I think I did name... I just kept the name Barry when I played it, but... I chose Damien this time just because it popped out at me. I gave you four name options, and I'm like, you know what? Damien, we'll go with that. Oh, you are a Pokemon trainer, but you don't have a Poketch yet. Poketch is short for Pokemon Watch. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufacture Poketches. Not only that, I'm conducting the Poketch promotional campaign. All I have to do is find three clowns in Jubilife City. Clown number one? Hi, I'm a Pokech campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Does a Pokemon grow by defeating others and gaining experience points? Why, of course it does. You know, these Pokemon, like, Heart Gold, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, all these, so far, those are all, like, remakes of the original games, but with more additions. So far, this this is, like, exactly, like, Pearl version, just with the new animation, so we'll see what differences come out later on, I'm not sure. Yes, a Pokemon can hold an item, of course it can. clown to go just like Pokemon do the moves of Pokemon also have types One, two, three, bravo, I say bravo. In return for these coupons, I present you with this Pokemon Watch, or Poketch for short. Paulu TD says, I've heard this one is a tile for tile remake. Take it with a pinch of salt. All right. Well, maybe this is just a remake of Pokemon Pearl version. Which, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I liked, I honestly liked Gen 4. It's one of my favorites of all the Pokemon games. Oh, a weak looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? Oh, who are you calling weak, sweetheart? Last Sarah. Funny, I had an ex-girlfriend named Sarah. She was a regular... Well, I won't say the word on the stream. <laughs> I 
Paul Lucidi says the underground is a new addition, and I won't spoil it. Yep, we'll wait till we get there. Did we just burn her Badoof? Awesome. Hope and Haleybug2005 say hello. Hello to you too. Archimchar learns Taunt. You defeated last Sarah. I shouldn't have battled in the first place. No, you shouldn't have, sweetheart. Your dad gave you some Pokemon. Why didn't you catch them yourself, kid? Youngster Tyler? Oh boy, he's got the regular magic cart. The most weak and pathetic Pokemon there is. Hope and Haleybug2005 says the underground is a fun addition as well. Just wish you could find shiny stones underground. I can't wait to see what Magikarp Poke Pokedex entry is in this game. Our shinks against Starly. Thundershock. And Youngster Tyler is joining the ranks of trainers we've been. Hope and Haleybug2005 says Shine is good for the game, but I found Manaphy more helpful against Cynthia, not gonna lie. Shinx. Yeah, as I said earlier, like I used Luxray in my original playthrough in Gen 4. I don't but I think I'm gonna try to find a better electric Pokemon this time. It, it it's it's new it, w it was new back then it's not new now and honestly i'm not impressed with luxray of course you may trouble me for a battle the last samantha C. Naruto says, what is your favorite Murray Rothbard book? Uh, the only one I, I have read cover to cover is Anatomy of the State. Sent one 1,000.
Chimchar is already at level 10. You know, I got a Groove of Scorch when they, by making this experience share automatic. This game is going to be pretty easy. I do hope it has a little bit of challenge. There are boulders blocking the way inside the cavern. Sent 1000 says, how is everyone? Hope and Halo Bug 2005 say, Cynthia is a challenge. Well, I do hope the champion is a challenge. Wait a minute, is this a wild to do? We need a good grass Pokemon. We can evolve it all the way to Roserade, it'll definitely be useful. So we'll catch it for now. You know, in my original playthrough, the grass type Pokemon I ended up using was Obama Snow, which you don't get till later on. But it's a dual ice type, uh, grass type, which I made it, uh, that's the Pokemon I ended up using to beat Cynthia's Garchomp later on. Badoo's data is added to the Pokemon. The Bud Pokemon. It lives alongside clear ponds. It scatters pollen that induces harsh sneezing and runny noses. Oh boy. Halu TD says, what Gen 4 Mon you guys find underrated? For me, is this is something I wanted to use in Platinum, but can't because Diamond exclusive is Skun Tank. You like Skun Tank, huh? Hmm. I'm going to have to deal with, think of that. Hope and Haleybug2005 says, Fairy is in this game, so I used Dazzling Gleam Manaphy to one-shot her Garchomp because I had Tail Close twice before Garchomp came out to take down my Lodic. All right, well, taking a look at the clock, the stream has, is about to reach one hour, and I do, don't like to stream longer than an hour because I know no one will watch it later on. Uh, so thanks, everybody, for coming out. Uh, I know I've been absent quite a bit. I assure you I'm doing my best to try to get content on. I just have a lot going on in life right now. Uh, see you, Naruto. We'll see what, about your request about debunking the uh, Gravel Institute. Send me the link to the video, and I'll consider it. And everybody else, as always, that is my two cents. You can take it for what it's worth.